Nvidia is about to change video games forever. Is probably something we have heard so many times it has lost all meaning. But if what they have announced at Computex is to be believed, this new AI technology will change everything. When I think of the best game experiences that I had, there was always some attachment to a character, their backstory, or how they communicated with us along the 40 or so hours. You have almost a feeling of leaving something behind when you finish a good game. What makes video games so fun is the ability to draw us in, to be as immersive as possible. In a perfect video game, you are so immersed you would forget that you're playing, and nothing breaks the illusion of living the experience as robotic NPCs that are so scripted that it feels almost forced. You push a button, you have a few options, usually leading to the same conclusion that will send you to the next NPC, rinse and repeat. If I had to imagine the perfect NPC, well, I wouldn't want to type or select anything. I'd rather just talk with it through a mic. I would like an answer to whatever I say in a natural way, no matter the subject of conversation. And I would like them to be graphically pleasing, with believable body gestures and facial expressions that match whatever they are saying or whatever emotion they're going through. Well, NVIDIA answers these three things perfectly with their new ACE technology. First, with NVIDIA NEMO. Basically, we will be talking to an LLM, hopefully one better than the one they showed in the demo. It will be like chatting with GPT-4, but in NPC form. And they will be customized with unique lore and character backgrounds. It will have some guardrails to ensure conversations remain appropriate. Because if ChatGPT was a person, he would be going through aggressive therapy by now. Second, the Riva technology allows speech recognition. So just talking to the mic should be enough to prompt the NPC for an answer. So we should be able to talk with our headsets to an NPC and get an answer in real time. And finally, audio to face will allow instant creation of expressive facial animations for the NPC, synchronized with their speech generating believable facial animations. It's not just the lips moving along, it's everything. The eyes, the mouth, the tongue, the wrinkles on the forehead, it's really animating an emotion. When we fail a mission for the fifth time in a row, we can now actually see the disappointment in their faces. The demo they showed was built using Unreal Engine 5. The graphics, the color, the ray tracing, and on top of that, we have a full and scripted conversation with an NPC. No options to choose from, just your headset. Everything was perfect. But I don't know how many PCs are hooked to this thing to run this smoothly. But what makes an experience immersive is not as much the graphics, although they really help. It's really this human element the games are often missing. To be able to just talk, using your own voice and style to formulate whatever it is you want to be doing is so much more rewarding and immersive than choosing fixed options from a menu. So the conversation in the demo went like this. Hey Jen, how are you? Unfortunately, not so good. How come? I am worried about the crime around here. It's gotten bad lately. My ramen shop got caught in the crossfire. Can I help? If you want to do something about this, I have heard rumors that the powerful crime lord Kuman Aoki is causing all sorts of chaos in the city. He may be the root of this violence. I'll talk to him. Where can I find him? I have heard he hangs out in the underground fight clubs on the city's east side. Try there. Okay, I'll go. Such a nice and polite conversation. But I really hope that's not how they think people talk to AI. Otherwise, this poor NPC is going to break on day one. But I really think that changing the NPC aspects of gaming will change the whole experience. Because when you think of NPCs, we really have two categories. The really bad ones we grew up with that tortured us on a daily basis and the really great ones that we almost bonded with during the game and that we still remember to this day. And imagine every developer having access to this technology and so many other tools. Making video games will be less time consuming and will require smaller budgets. Two games are already using part of this technology. Heart of Chernobyl and Fort Solace will be using audio to face for their character facial expression. And the game doesn't have one NPC, so NPCs can communicate and think together. Friendly NPCs will make for some immersive co-op experience. And enemy NPCs will come up with better ways to ruin your day. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.